Um, hi, everybody. Um, I'm Hassi, and I'm here to tell you about um, an open source uh, project that I've been working on um, called Artillery. Um, who am I? Uh, Node.js developer, um, mostly working with big companies moving from um, Java and .NET to Node. Also do a bunch of DevOps, usually with um, HashiCorp tools. Um, Artillery, what is Artillery? Artillery is a load generator that is, it's a tool that can um, send a lot of requests to an application and send them very, very quickly. Um, Artillery specifically um, simulates virtual users. That is, um, users arrive to your application, which usually means um, a TCP connection is established and then um, they run through scenarios, um, i.e. they make get and post requests, for example. Um, it's written in Node and it's open source. Um, there's a demo. So this is what it looks like. Okay, um, it's a CLI, so you do npm install artillery. Um, you write scenarios in uh, JSON files or YAML. So that's what they look like. Um, we say what we're going to test, uh, what sort of load pattern, and um, we just make two requests there, um, a get request and a post request. So if I run it there, it goes off and does its thing for um, 10 seconds, and it writes out a JSON file with um, detailed performance stats like latency and all that. And it prints out um, a report on screen which is um, readable by a human or you have the JSON file. Okay. Um, and you can generate uh, graphical reports from those JSON reports which um, are self-contained HTML files so you can send them to your teammates or your managers or share them um, on Slack or whatever. Um, so the origins of Artillery are that I was writing a chat application which was based on WebSockets and needed to be tested to 100,000 concurrent connections. So um, I found that the tooling was there, but it was uh, very painful to use and not very easy to use. Um, I did get there. Um, I tested up to 1 million concurrent connections, but um, I thought there has to be a better way, and that's how I started working on Artillery. Uh, I'm not going to talk about why you should do load testing. Uh, you kind of know it when you need it. Um, I'll just say that you can have a lot of fun with a good load testing tool. Uh, for example, you can practice something called um, performance-driven development where you define your um, performance metrics before you start writing any code. You write your test and then you run them in, C, um, in CI as you, as you write the code to make sure that um, you don't have any performance regressions. So I did that recently on uh, for a Node API that was powering a checkout page. So latency was very important and PDD worked really great for that. Um, you can also do load testing in production. Um, yes, really. Uh, again, did that recently for a very big website in the UK. Um, they gradually built up to um, injecting an extra 100% of their peak traffic to prepare for their biggest um, weekend of the year. And um, experimental benchmarking can be loads of fun too. So um, it's kind of accepted wisdom that you shouldn't do uh, TLS termination in Node or anywhere that's not, say, Nginx. But um, in fact, if you do benchmark it, then it turns out that it can be pretty good and enough for the amount of load that um, you're going to have. So um, the features of Artillery, um, you just npm install it. Yes, that's a feature because um, you don't need to download Java or you know anything else. As Node developers, we all have npm, so we can just do that. Um, it has a nice CLI. That's also a feature because um, that's JMeter. It's very popular, uh, very powerful, but has that designed in the 90s look about it. So Artillery doesn't do that. Um, you can test HTTPS or HTTP and WebSockets out of the box. Um, and you can simulate very uh, complex behaviors. Um, it's, it's perfect for transactional APIs. Uh, scenarios are just JSON and YAML, not XML. Um, and you can generate graphical reports as we've seen. Um, and it has pretty good performance. Um, so on a very modest VPS, you can get um, pretty good numbers. And the implication of that is that you can run um, you can run realistic load tests just from your laptop uh, while you're developing something. And then um, 1.4 is the uh, upcoming release. Uh, we're working on HTTP2 support. Uh, we'll be the first load testing tool to support that. Um, distributed mode that's actually easy to use. Um, loads of performance improvements. Um, AMQP support, which is great for microservices. Um, this is the second demo. Someone is working on a terminal UI which is actually written in React and is responsive. <laughs> um, 
I have no idea how it works. Um, if, um, if they finish it, then that will be uh, released in 1.42. Thank you, yeah, I think so too. Um, so uh, the future of artillery, um, once you have more protocol supports out of the box, um, even more performant, even easier to use, um, basically would like to build enterprise um, great load testing tool in Node.js. Um, there are loads of ways to contribute if you're interested. Um, you can write an engine. Uh, they're pretty easy to write. Um, the HTTP engine is around 200 lines of code. Um, so, you know, engines for socket IO or XMPP or MQTT, whatever. Um, you can write a publishing plugin. So Artillery can already publish um, stats in real time to um, StatsD. Uh, again, a plugin would be pretty easy to write. Um, you can write a tutorial, help improve the um, graphical reports. They do need quite a bit of work. Um, or just use Artillery and file any bugs that you find. Thank you. <laughs>